is stifling growth. You must tell Ruto that when people have to park cars at home because of cost of fuel, it is bad for the economy. You must tell him that when Kenyans postpone traveling up country because they can't afford fuel or fare, it is bad for the economy. You must tell him that when people choose to stay indoors because they, they want to spend less on expensive goods, it is bad for the economy. And you must tell him that these things are happening now here in this country. Rather than burden Kenyans, we want Ruto to undertake the following. One, stop duplication of county roles and responsibilities. In the proposed bill, budget for health is growing by 35 billion shillings at the national level, yet health is a devolved function. Two, adopt a zero-based budgeting. Don't take the previous budget as the baseline. Every budget must start at ground zero where everything has to be justified. Three, don't grow the size of the budget. Cut it down and live within your means. Four, instead of imposing new taxes, see the loopholes that lead to the loss of revenue. Five, stop non-essential government expenditures, including the appointment of the chief administrative secretaries. Six, reduce the size of government. Seven, cut non-essential domestic, domestic and international travel. Eight, Freeze ministerial out-of-station allowances, ministerial house allowances, and domestic allowances for cabinet and principal secretaries. Nine, stop corruption and theft of public funds. Ten, finally we ask Ruto to humble himself, he withdraw this bill of apology and seek forgiveness from Kenyans for the anxiety caused then and begin afresh. The one point I wanted to mention that the budget for the parliament is 41 billion shillings. That of the uh, judiciary is 23 billion shillings. But the budget for housing, which is talking about as its flagship project, is 29 billion. Parliament, with only 400 or so many members, of members, it allocated 43 billion shillings for members to be globe-trotting around. Yet housing, which is saying is fundamental to its, its, its budget, is only allocating 29 billion shillings, less than what is given to members of parliament, almost equal to what is given to the judiciary. It's economics upside down. You have noted that the regime has run out of sound, sound bites and explanations for these proposals and has resorted to threats. But we have agreed with our MPs on what to do. Vote against any tax rises. Should Ruto overrun the National Assembly, we will regroup and overrun him in the wider National Assembly of the whole people of Kenya. End of statement. So, uh, we welcome Madam Martha Karua, who just joined. Uh,